Hi, welcome to Crab Master Gaming. It's the Crab Master! Welcome back to King of Crabs Season 2. Here to show you a quick showcase for the uh, Hermit Crab. <laughs> Honestly, in this current meta, the Hermit Crab isn't that competitive, and that's quite disappointing. It used to be good, but all, with all these new crabs coming out, this particular crab just ain't what it used to be. Tried messing around with different hats, and it still doesn't make the difference. Main drawback is it's very slow, and it's big. So we're going to keep farming in mind and farming only. We're going to kill if we have to. Defense, we're going to put on the army helmet. Now, what is the special ability of the Hermit Crab? The button, the ultimate, retreats into the impregnable shell, make you vulnerable while gaining life points back. My crab currently has pretty high base stats, level 26. We're gonna jump in. Here we go. Let's get a match going. Now we can always test out the dynamics under friendly mode, but we're gonna be a boss and go into king mode. PvP. Here we go. Current missions, kill baby spiders, eat some pineapple, obtain the high score. We're gonna prioritize these two first, but go over dynamics first. Alright, here we go. We're off. You can see we have very high base damage, even at a basic small size. Oh, coins, i grab them. Off to a good start, getting three. New additions to the game, we are sharks. Oh, better get away. Pop our ultimate. And we're alive. There are sharks. There are new stump nose pistol. And when I pick one up, I'll show you guys how that works. Yeah. Yeah, this game has really turned into Crab of Duty. Later on, they might even release assault rifles, and they've probably released a stump nose pistol. It's very overpowered. It's just a click and do huge chunks of damage thing. Alright. Down the snow crab. Now, they had the sports season in season 1. So if you kill with sports items, you'll generate the relevant ball. You just kill that guy. If you're hearing that sound, that is the new weapon. This chainsaw, deadly. I think they're making this game very messy by including things like chainsaws and stuff. It gets annoying. It's loud and uh, obtrusive. But we just gonna mind our own business here and farm. Try to get as many coins as we can and grow. Definitely not a mistake to take the army hat. Give me another 10% mitigation on damage. Some armor. Oh shit. Guy's got a flaming sword. Got Mr. Aniki. That's Japanese for gangster. More big brother. Just got killed by Mr. Aniki, that's fine. Oh, we got the magic wand. We can shrink whatever we hit. I want us to take out big targets. Take out this bigger storm crab. Like I said, our focus is to get the coins. That is the first foremost we're gonna do. Let's open up the mini map. Avoid the boss. We're not ready to take on the boss. Oh, coin. Look how big we get. getting. There's also another feature called locking weapons, but uh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to farm. Moving on to the snow crab zone. Oh, we don't have a coin there. We've got 19. We've got to be very conscious and wary of where the enemies are. Do you want to fight that lobster yet? want to farm. Ah, got to get the prison box. 
good farming session we got here. Definitely working out a bit better right now. Oops, gotta get the box. Do you have a turtle shell shield? Basic shield? Oh, he's got a rocket launcher. He's got to down him quickly. Now we can enjoy the last shot of the rocket launcher. Good damage, but only one shot. Oh, katana. We don't want to face that guy. Want to get out of there. Broke his katana. Fine. That's one thing you can do with the ultimate. We pop it. Pop it, prison E. You can exhaust somebody's weapon and make them break their weapon and you take no damage. And most people don't stop hitting you. They think, oh, I can just keep hitting you, you'll do damage. No, it won't. That's the only time I find good with the Hermit Crab busting out his ultimate. Either you're surrounded or... Oh, shit. I walked onto that one. Coconut bombs. Just avoided it. How high base damage definitely helps. All in all, this, this guy is just too slow. We're gonna try and walk the guy with the flamethrower this way. Try and walk him into the alien crab so he'll fight the alien crab. And then we're gonna get away. Smart move to evade him. Uh oh. Oh, we're gonna make him pay for grabbing grab with a stone shiv. Shouldn't have grabbed it. Now we got the fork. Just get two kills now in the game. Popping the old nut. Now we're gonna stab him. We grab that weapon. Grab the cauldron. Get some bonuses. Oh, mega big. Or grab that. Oh. Special leap. We get his weapon. That's what we're trying to kill him. We're trying to get his weapon. Alright. Seems our ultimate's worn off. Just totally mitigated that guy's ultimate. Using a wand. Thank goodness for that. Oh shit. Sucks when I book him. Well, remember the three rules of farming. If you die three times, you stop. Keep going, you're gonna lose unnecessary life points. Apparently, we're on 44 points. In this current mode for the game, coins are. Harder to come by. Not like the previous season one. Nope. Now I'm gonna shoot him. I got him. Oh, the snub nose revolver is so overpowered. Just click. Click on the main. They die. Click and they die. Really easy. That's it. Picking up our third kill. We're trying to get away. Trying to get this corner here. This is the tank build. We got the armor. Now we can try and hit the vampire crab. Gonna suck our lock points away. I'm not gonna let them. Then we get away. Ooh. Another gun. Ah, oh, shit. And that's us. We managed to get 46 coins. Let's go back. And that is why this crab is not as competitive as it was in Season 1. When this game first came, this crab was the go-to one for farming, but now 
It's not that good anymore. Hope you guys see that. <laughs>